you've chosen to listen to the gaming commentary ear. And that's a good choice, I think. If you're going to listen to both, you should do this one first. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to the boss. He finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Oh, we dare. Now this guy, uh, he can be tough if you don't really know what to do. And actually, if you fight him the way most people do, he's really tough because he, he has the ability to life up to restore his health. He's got some nasty attacks. But uh, I'm not going to even give him a chance because a neat trick with this boss is that if you use your assistant's magic and you use paralysis on him, you will be able to uh, basically make him completely useless for the rest of the battle. So you see, we'll try our most powerful spell. You know, Psy Freeze Beta. And we only get 16 damage out of that? Oh my goodness. That's not going to be useful, even though it's our best spell. But, his body becomes numb from using that paralysis spell. And now all we have to do is just bash him until we're done here. You see, he's numb and he can't move. And that's what he's going to do for the whole rest of the battle. There's a plane going by overhead. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Yeah, one way or the other. Yeah, we're just going to keep hitting the, uh... The button here, and just gonna, yeah. You see, he can still use magic because when you're numb after paralysis, uh, you can't use any physical attacks, but you can still use magic. So he might still restore his uh, uh, HP occasionally, but honestly, he's not not that bad. I actually got a new spell for Paula. Whoa, whoo, in between videos here. So I'm gonna see if, I, if I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show that here. And it's recovery spell, Psi Magnet, PSI Magnet, and basically it just. Uh, she tries to siphon away uh, Psy Power from... Yeah, there you, there you go. She got three uh, uh, PP from the mole. And basically that's what you do. Is I think that the, the low level spell, you try and steal it from one enemy, and the high level spell, you'll actually take a few points from every enemy on the field if they have PP. So it's actually a fairly decent spell later in the game if you want to just go up against a bunch of enemies at once and use Psy Magnet on them a couple times, and then use that same PSI right back with a... You know, CS PSI... Uh, fire or something like that to hit all of them. And so you basically just use their own power against them. Ah, and there we go. Mondo Mole became tame. Did I ever even say the name of the boss? I don't think I did. Oh well. And we get quite a lot of experience there. Probably pretty much a guaranteed level up if you're not completely over leveled. Hey, Vitality went up. HP by 14. Oh, Paul is up to level 16. Vitality went up. IQ up by 3. Luck up by 3. HP up by 8. And PP up by 15. Nice. That's pretty freaking awesome. Let's go ahead outside here. Yeah. Oh, wait, is there a photographer? I hope not. Anyway, this is our second sanctuary location. Listen in. That was a bit short, but it makes sense in the, in the context of the whole song. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Huh, <laughs> wonder who that could be! Ness's soundstorm recorded the melody of Lilliput Steps. Cool. Wish there was a hot spring out here, that would be neat. But there's not. Anyway, ugh. I tell you guys, I had a hell of a time getting through here in my practice file. You see the bear? He's running away. <laughs> we can smack on him if, now if we want. Yeah, we got a full recovery from uh, that area there. So if I want to, I can just smack some of these guys with uh, spells on the way out just to get some more, H or more uh, experience. But, whoops, that's not what I want. Just wanted to show you guys our stats here. Yeah, you can see things are coming along pretty nicely. Paula actually has surprisingly good defense. It's the same as Ness's, even though she's, what, five levels less? Sorry, I'm kind of jumping back and forth here, but... Yeah, it's pretty nice. And having Paula with a decent amount of guts is good, too, because, uh... If she can't save herself... <laughs> oh, God, look at all the enemies on the screen right now. Holy moly, I'm just going to go around this way. I'm not interested in fighting a bunch of bears and bats and stuff all at once. And I might come back here and do some grinding later on. Oh, dude, you're right in the way. Don't don't stop right there. Scoot. Go go to the other wall. Get... whatever. Yeah. Oh, thank god. These guys are such a pain in the ass. They really are. Trying to get into this cave. I actually... I didn't... There was some stuff in between the two, these two videos that I didn't show. Uh, where basically... Hey, there's some... Oh, we, we don't need that butterfly at all, do we? We already have full... everything from getting the sanctuary location. But yeah, there's some stuff in between these two videos that I didn't show you because I, I just wanted to go do some little bit more grinding in between the two videos, and it ended up being a huge mistake because I died. Ugh, I got killed. Well, what, what really happened was is Paula died, 
And then from there, there was no point in me doing any more grinding because Ness is already at a good enough level. But it was just Paula I wanted to get some more experience on. And she goes and dies, and I use my one cup of life noodles on her, and then she dies again. And it's like, oh, dude. So I had to come out here and get her from the hospital, and just, ugh, it was a huge pain in the ass. Anyway, now that we have the second sanctuary location, we're done here in Happy Happy Land, so. Sorry, KK, we gotta leave. Ah, was a sign. Did I ever read that? I'm pretty sure I did. What's up here? Just a mole? Alright, get a little bit of ADD now, Poncho. Let's focus. Go ahead and, well, dude, we go through the hole, would you? Jeez. Alright, so, Paula's dad is looking for her, so we need to take her back to Tucson and at least uh, let her visit her folks so that they know she's alright. I hope we don't run into a photographer on the way back. I kind of get, I'm getting a sinking feeling that we're going to. I'm going to have to post commentate again. Ooh. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, I had to go back and do that in later yesterday. I couldn't do that all at once. Get away from me. What? Ugh, I'm so used to enemies running away. Uh, just, all right. All right, we got the spinny robo. I don't know if we ever actually uh, had a good chance to go after these guys, but I'm going to just bash the spinny robo, and I think I'm going to use... I don't... I still haven't figured out what thunder is supposed to, like, how it works, but I'm going to try it again, see if it does anything. It seems like it would be useful against these kind of enemies because they're robotic, but... Wow, 100 damage? That's nice. I guess I thought it only takes 3 PP. But it doesn't let you pick a target, so it's just like... Does it just go after a random target, or what? Didn't hit anyone, okay. Yeah, like I say, I'm not... I don't really know how PSI Thunder works. Can you guys leave me... Tell me, tell me in the comments, like, how that spell goes. Like, I know fire is multi-targeting, you know, decent damage, and that freeze only hits one thing and does a lot more damage, but H Thunder just seems to, like, just randomly pick a target, but how much damage does it do? Like, how's it compared to the other two spells overall? And I know I keep calling them spells. I hope that doesn't bother you guys, but... I don't know, I just... <laughs> There, yeah, it's psychic points and all that, and there's psychic abilities. I'm going into our dead end, aren't I? I think so. Because this is where the butterfly always is, and you go left from there, that's where the hard hat was. Wow, how do I remember that? I feel like Chugga, so much useful, so much useless knowledge. Wow, there's fewer enemies here, now that we're on the way in. Hey, the bridge is back! Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. We're already past the part where the pencil was and everything, we're almost all the way back now. Aren't we? Or am I crazy? I think I'm just crazy. No, this is the bridge that was out. This is the bridge I was thinking of. Okay, so now we're back past where the pencil was. The pencil was up there. Wow, lots of butterflies. We've seen like five in this video already, haven't we? Oh, got another UFO. No point in trying to avoid them. They're so fast, it's nearly impossible. Unless you can get them caught on the terrain, you're basically guaranteed to get in a fight here. But yes, leave me in the comments how Thunder works, how that goes. Because I'd be interested to know. And uh, don't forget that this LP is really timely. You guys are actually seeing these videos about maybe an hour to an hour and a half after I make them. So... Depending on how much post-editing uh, I have to do, you guys could be seeing this, this footage, you know, as soon as an hour after I film it. So, if there's something that you want to tell me or you want to ask me, the comments are the place to do it. Because I check them every day. I'm very interested. I always, I always watch the comments to see how it develops and who's, who's commenting. And there are some of you guys out there who I, I recognize your usernames because you comment so often. I start to get to know you guys. It's good, though. It's supposed to be a two-way street, you know? Let's see. I want to go to the mushroom because I don't feel like getting my controls all whacked up. Fire only does one row, right? Ah, uh, crap. That sprout's going to bring more people in, but I don't want to... Hmm. I'll just do it to the back row. That works. I feel like fire would be good against the mushroom enemy. I don't know. Wow, yeah, that took him out. Okay, and I... Hmm. That's good that this game has a little bit of intelligence to it in that I told Ness to attack the the mushroom, but then Paula got to go first and killed the mushroom, and so there's no mushroom left for Ness to go after. Rather than Ness just wasting his turn, he actually changed targets and went after the mobile sprout, which I can see some people arguing for that being a bad thing. Like, just as an example, let's say we're fighting against an enemy that's really weak to, uh, I don't know, PSI gaming, and we're fighting against, you know, another enemy at the same time who will reflect PSI gaming back. And so I use gaming on the enemy that it's a weak that is weak against gaming. And then Paula actually gets to go first and kills that enemy. So then I change targets and I shoot at the one that's going to reflect it. You know, so it, it could actually have some bad consequences, you know, with them changing things around on you like that. But in general, when you're just using smash attacks and that sort of thing, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not going to it's not going to come back to bite you. I think it's really rare uh, circumstances where you, you actually would not want Ness to attack the other enemy. Oh, Paula! We're so glad you're safe! Ness, thank you so much! You must be the boy who, sa who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. <laughs> I saw a boy from the forest in a green light. I think that black cloud was that man in there. Paula, 
I am sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. And Paul is sweating. I don't know. Dad, don't worry about me. Or maybe those marks just indicate that the speaker had changed. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves in three th the next town. Hint, hint. The game is telling you where to go next. We'll meet another friend. Oh, cool. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, wipe your ass, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. Good. He's following us. Yeah, I think he just kind of follows you back to the door. Wait a minute, you look familiar. No, that's just the kid. Oh, I'm stuck. Ooh, too many sprites on the screen. All those chairs are just kind of randomly placed around the room. They don't seem to be near the tables. Hey, who are you? Hello? Ness. Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. Oh. I guess I better go visit him. He's out in Berglund Park, isn't he? We are in Tucson, aren't we? Uh-huh. All right, cool. Oh, Berglund Park's over here. Well, the doors... Or the... The door. The, the, the little walk up the entrance here is over here. Is is he here? You didn't want to tell me to come here, right? Everybody was asking for you. Here's a present to give you. All right, cool. Let's go see him at his place. This is his house out here. Yeah, he said to come back and visit him after we got Paula. I'd almost forgotten about that. How's it going? I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll f refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Wow! Man, we're going to be able to buy, like, every item that we can possibly, like, get at this point in the game. $10,000 is ridiculous. God, look at that. How much money... What? $36. <sighs> Shenanigans, man. Now, the Wad of Bills is, like, uh... It's like a key item. It isn't a... It isn't actually money. So, I was actually kind of pissed when I found that out in my practice file. I had forgotten about it from the LPs I watched. And I was just like, damn it, you mean I can't actually spend this money? Alright, what are you guys doing up here? I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. Yeah, they're sold out. If you go to the ticket office over there and try to buy one, they're, they're going to tell you that. Thankfully, the Runaway 5 here, the band that's performing, as what the sign says there, they're, they like Paula, so they're going to want to meet her. Hey, you came with Paula. You deserve a present, Playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Awesome. So even without a ticket, we now have a backstage pass. Uh-oh. Photographer. Crap. Alright, I'll have to post-commentate. wonder what language this one will be in. If you haven't figured out yet, this guy's really multilingual. The Spanish photographer. Fotos tomadas instantáneamente. Soy un genio fotógrafo si me lo diga a mamiso. Bueno, prepariza para una memoria instantánea. Mira a la cámara. Listo. Diga. Fuzzy pickles. Wow. Que gran fotografía. Siempre va a traer más preciados de los cuadros. Alrighty then. <laughs> cool. Let's go inside. I'm not sure if you get that. You can get that before you have Paula or not. Let's see. Wow, you have a really intense expression, don't you? Hello. Please present your ticket. I don't have... Oh. Okay, goods. Right. <laughs> I can handle it. <laughs> Use the backstage pass. Here you go. Hurry, you're just in time to see the Runway 5. Awesome! What a great way to end the video. I think if we walk up... Where, we, where do we have to go to get this show to start? I think... Well, let's just talk to people. Let's, well, hell, I, I think the door here... I'm changing my clothes now, don't come in. Oh, crap. What about you? Lucky the lucky of the Runway 5. Okay, I guess, I guess that's a person. Told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it! Can you take me with you? Please, 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 please? I could pose as your sister. Yes, this rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Oh, and she takes us back. Nice. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> How you guys doing? shuba doo wop diddly dee da shuba dee doo bee wop wop pop pop ro wop I got these debt blues, man. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may be busted. It <laughs> rusted out, not busted out. You're busting out! Well, yeah, in the old days, there was lots of dancers and acts at the theater, except now we're the only act playing here. We even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. The folks at Tucson enjoy our show for the quite a few years, it looks like to me. Yeah, you guys are going to be hanging around. Well, in the next video, we are going to go back outside and continue our adventure and start our next video by seeing the Runway 5 perform. So I hope you guys enjoyed the double commentary. If you only listen to one side, go back and hear the other right now, because it was just as good as the one you listened to. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Way Earthbound. Bye! I always get in a hurry, and then I forget that I have, like, 30 seconds at the beginning of the video before I start talking. Ugh.